Her body was discovered by her neighbor, an elderly man who, in a stroke of horrible luck, came to ask her for some assistance. The coroner would later confirm that she had died a mere few hours before. There was no sign of a struggle, no sign of a break-in, nothing that pointed to any malevolence. But then we noticed her phone, propped up right across from her, and found that damn recording, in which a beautiful yet exhausted girl took a seat and started talking. I wish I'd never seen it. Yesterday I was murdered. Any other person could have spoken those words, and I had instantly dismissed them as absolutely insane. But not her. For a second, she glanced at her smartwatch when it buzzed, taking a deep breath as she did. He told me this. His name was Jack Riley. Though in hindsight, I couldn't tell you whether or not that was a lie. What I do know is that he's a surgeon. A neurosurgeon. The same little routine repeated. Her watch buzzed, and other than her taking a nervous breath, nothing happened. I wondered if Jack was stalking her drowning her in messages. We'd had a few dates. He had been a perfect gentleman throughout all of it. The only thing he absolutely hated was people taking things for granted, he told me. I adored his grateful attitude. Again a buzz, a sigh. Yesterday we met up at his. I was complaining about work or something, just, and it just changed him. Tears were welling up in her eyes. I'm not sure what happened after that. But I woke up in my own apartment. A tube stuck in my throat, which she removed the moment my eyes met. Once more, her lips were turning slightly blue, her skin growing paler, yet she simply kept talking through her sobs. Apparently, there's a part in the brain, medulla or something, that makes our body work for us. It keeps our hearts beating our blood flowing, and so on, without having to think about it. One of the many things we hold for granted. And then he told me that he found a way to tweak it. Didn't even have to crack open my skull. No way to fix it either. He told me I should have been more grateful. Another buzz, and with it my anxiety grew. There was not a touch of pink left in her. If I leave, my parents are next. I've tried to keep going for as long as I could, but I'm exhausted. So, this is goodbye, I think. To whoever found this, whoever found me, I'm sorry you had to see me like this. I left letters for some people on my bed. Tell them I love them, and... She slumped down. None of us moved for several silent minutes until I walked over to her body and took off her watch, seeing for the first time the hundreds of reminders that she set. Breathe.